Well, it is warming up, but it's getting to that temperature where it's around zero and it's damp. The air is damp. I hate that weather. I, I would rather it be minus 10 Celsius, so I don't know. What I don't even care. Cold. I would rather it be a variation of what it was this morning than um, what it is right now. And uh, I know the rain started, is going to come later on and uh, it's going to be messy. It's just going to be disgusting. For the next three days now we got horses racing tonight it's gonna be fun just to sit down and watch them go but the bulk of my enjoyment was this morning going with the babies now the track this morning was going to be firm right you have the snow on friday i had the snow on friday and uh, a good cushion on the track on thursday but uh today after the freezing cold, all the snow, so they had to scrape all the snow off, the track was going to be firm. And what that does is, any horses with splints or curbs, horses recovering from OCD surgeries, you may see them be a little tender, right? A little, a little exposed today. And I wanna be on the lookout for that, right? Especially for that. Any horses you see maybe didn't perform uh, the way that you wanted them to today, me, I mean, if I, if I didn't see them perform the way I wanted to, there has to be a component, usually is a component of that uh, of that track. And you never want to train them all on a hard, hard track, but once in a while, it's not that bad just to get a look at them. Just get a look at which ones are maybe going through something. And it gives you, a, it's just a, a good indicator of where you're at with the horses. So the, the great news was the vast majority of everybody was great. The ones that you knew maybe were a little vulnerable today, they were, they showed it. And there were some horses that just broke free of, uh, of, of either the funk they were in or they just weren't doing their work well. One horse and two horses in, very, in particular, um, Dancing by Myself, was amazing today. So I guess what he was going through was not soreness related because today it would have shown up and it did not. Uh, we took all the boots off him, added a, a lot of weight up front, put aluminums on him, which you don't really want to do on a trotter this time of year. Anyway, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be my go-to for, for trotters for sure. I can jam them up a little bit. Um, but to help clean their gate up once in a while, it does help. And uh, we had gone and put aluminums on, on dancing by myself behind, uh, added some weight to him up front, put hobbles on him, trotted great. Now, after the mile today, which he was very good in, Jason had said, Jason Merriman said, I went one of the no hobbles on Saturday and jogged him and all he did was trot. That was a problem, right? You remember the other day I told you, you just go on the track and you canter. Just canter and canter. What the hell is going on with this horse? It didn't appear to be any lameness and when he hit the trot, it was smooth as silk. But it was a bugger to get him there. You don't see that very often. But when you got this amount of trotters, you know, he still, chap, trotted for a quarter of a mile today. Uh, I'm just picking Ava up from cheer practice. I'd like her to be cheerful. Um, so, um, I, I, it was a weird, it's a weird thing, but every horse is different. And again, today was a huge step forward for that particular horse. Uh, dancing by myself was awesome training. Another horse, I'll start off the sets, uh, talking about the sets with a horse that was awesome again today for me. And that was Aunt Lily. This is a big, big, powerful filly, and she had made breaks on people. She does, you know, we, we've had a few of these Uncle Peters and had a lot of luck with them, and some of them wear their hobbles a little snug, right? I don't care. It's fine with me. It doesn't bother me in the least. Um, and, and a couple of times I saw her make breaks on people. The hobbles rode a little bit, and I also put two sets of bell boots on her. Hello. Could you wear a coat? Because it still is cold. Uh, we just came from cheer and we were doing drills and I'm burning, so... Okay. Let's see. Uh, what about your big army bag here? Oh my god, girl. Jesus. Um, so Aunt Lily uh, added some weight to our front. I, I always go with her. Two sets of bell boots on up front with the toe weights. This is a big horse. And her hobbles on tight. That may sound counterintuitive to uh, some of our horse people out there, but I, as I said, we've had a few of these Uncle Peters, and the ones we, the one that just pops into my mind, you can have a drink. One that pops into my mind right away is Oso Pine. He was, if you guys go back, and this is the cool thing, and I don't know how many people utilize this. We have over 7,000 videos on our YouTube channel, and if you go back and look at Oso Pine's uh, training sets from January when he was two, and hear me talking about them, you're gonna hear a lot of the same things, right? A little bit of weight up front, 
snug hobbles and he'll do his work. And that's how he was. And um, it's not like he won the, the Elite Lop or the Hamiltonian, the Breeders' Crown. But he was a very good horse for us and a really likable animal. And I see a lot of what he did, what he what he was doing back then in, uh, in Aunt Lily and, and uh, not surprisingly so, they share a lot of equipment, uh, both past and present. So uh, Aunt Lily, I was very, very impressed with her today. She looked exceptionally good. And again, this is important because she did have an OCD removed and still muscled through her work today and looked great. Uh, also in that set, oh hell no, this whole set looked good. Uh, I went with Never Lose Felix the other day. I thought he was great. I swapped, uh, I swapped out today. Uh, Aunt Lily was not in the first set. My apologies. I'll get to her in a second. I'm with I'm a trucker. So in the first set, I was a coin flip. I'm a trucker or never lose Felix. I went with never lose Felix the other day and he was very good. So I went with trucker today and he was very good today. Trucker beat up on some good horses today. Now we had backed them off. They went, we aimed for 50, 55. We ended up between 46 and probably 50 with most of them. Um, but they were all strong and I'm a trucker. I told you guys, everybody keeps selling the shares and you know, it's January. For people being concerned with the horses, lots of time, lots of time. I'm a trucker, come out smoking today. He looked good. Beat up on uh, Never Lose Felix, LT Troubadour, Oh Hill No, and Melisandre. They were all right there together. Now, Never Lose Felix, I told uh, Eric after we were just talking about him, I said his hobbles need to be tighter. And with Felix, uh, it looked like he was pulling up in the turns, which is being green. Uh, we had a Murphy and a head pull on the left. Move the Murphy to the right, probably head pull to the left. Eric agreed. That's what we're going to do, and I don't think there'll be any problems with Felix moving forward. But I'm a trucker was a huge story today. Again, along that timeline, again, this is important because if he had any real issues, they would have shown up today. And quite the opposite, the horse came out swinging and looked very good today and eager to do his work. I was very, very impressed with I'm a trucker today. That whole first set was great. All the horses... All their horse, all the all the horses in set one did their work tremendously, and again the break from uh, Felix was just a combination of him being green and a little stupid, and uh, just rearranging some equipment on him. Murphy outside, tighten those hobbles up, off to the races with Felix. Hopefully, literally. Second set, Speed of Sounds got two big splints on our front legs. We haven't crowded them yet, and Jason lost her today. And he's saying, "Ah, it's my fault," and I just let him talk. But. I knew what it was. It was the splints for sure. So, uh, Speed of Sound made a break today. Manhattan Money was good. Now, I went with Baby Zet. I was way back. As Amy said when we were turning your mile, she goes, just so you know, that filly right there has never trained a lot, uh, not a full mile in her life. She made breaks and she got sick and then it was just a lot of stuff. Now, she didn't train the full mile. She did make a couple of breaks, but her gait was much, much better. Vastly better than the last time I went with her. So I think she's right on the cusp of probably going out and being able to go a mile in 250, 255 within the next 10 days. Today was a good step forward for her. Now, because I was way back, when's your dance? When's dance? Um, five. Five? You have uh, to be there at 450. 4.50? I told mom we'd go grocery shopping. Are you going to stay at dance? Because you have dance after too, right? Yeah. Do you have homework? What? No, I don't have homework. Usually, generally, when children, when you ask them a question, they say, what? It's because they're trying to look for an answer, a, no. a fib, to maybe tell them. No, you can check the back or... So you're done your... I'm done. What about your test coming up this week? What test? Grammar. Grammar, that's on Friday. That's this week, Friday, I see. Yeah. Maybe you should have a test on the days of the week. Fridays in this week, Monday, I know Tuesday, Friday. Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, baby said I made a break. The priest was acting up. We put a birch bit in his mouth, I think. Or the name's here. the first, the priest. It's because um, Pastor Stephen is his father, and Pastor Stephen's brother is Father Patrick. It's kind of a religious name, so that's where they get the priest. His name, his dad's name is Pastor Stephen. So they call them the priest. I know, but they have some of the horses have like the weirdest names. No, they have dumb names. Some of them have dumb yeah, names. Yeah, they've really dumb names. Yeah, sure. But there's not much I can do with that. It just like is. Bluebird what Tuxedo Hill. Whoa, Bluebird Staples might hear you say that, and uh, not like that. What? It's a little bit of a weird name. Right? Uh, so Speed of Sound made a break. Manhattan Money was good today, though, which is good. That's a, a good sign for us. Uh, the priest, as I said, we put that check bit in his mouth, and he was just being ignorant today. He's got to the stage where he's clearly a talented horse. Obviously, you, you saw that at Open House Day, but little ignorant. 
and uh, and they're saying, "Ah, oh, we might do this, we might do that." I said, "You know what he needs? Work." I said, "If it wasn't raining tomorrow, he'd go again." And and that's what the horse would need. And luckily for him, Mother Nature is going to save him. But he's got some work coming his way. You don't need anything else other than a little bit of work for him to uh, polish up that little raw attitude that he has. Um, uh, but that attitude will dissipate. And that attitude comes from a lot of horses. As I said, probably one of our best horses right now, Memento Mori, was a real ignorant horse before we castrated him back in, in uh, late fall. Um, he's a great guy. Won the set, I believe, from what I, from my vantage point, which wasn't the best. It looked like he's a great guy. Won the set. And Joey said the horse was fantastic. You know what I loved? I didn't know if Joey watched all our videos. And I would said to him the other day, I would said to you guys the other day, and I didn't want to preach at Joey, say, hey, you need to do this, you need to do that. Um, and Joey came up to me, he said, I saw that. He said, you know, I do, I do appreciate the, the help, uh, which is good, which is good. You know, I, 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 uh, I feel for Joey, you know, and I told him that on the track today. I said, you know, you, you got the crappiest part of driving, of the driving assignments. You know, when we're driving our horses and they're at eight to five, you can afford to make the little mistakes, right? The horses will bail you out or, you know, if you leave into somebody, they're more apt to let you go. But when you're Joey leaving into them with a longer shot, you're not getting any favors on the track. And it makes it really difficult to become a driver doing that. But it's called paying your dues also. And, and uh, I certainly know exactly how that feels. Uh, as I said, to, I said to you guys the other day, and I said to Joey, I think I went over for thirty something or forty something yeah, when I started. No, that backpack's too heavy. I'm not getting it. Please, can't help you. But I tell you what, luckily GMC has made doors in the back, and you can open the back door and access the. See what I mean? <laughs> see, see how it would have been difficult for me? I would have thrown my shoulder out or something. There's a lot in there. Not my what about your coat being on the floor? How about that? It's not my problem. It is your problem. It's going to become your problem here in a second. <laughs> now take your big army navy bag and head into the house. Take that coat off the ground also. Anyway, um, I'm Ready to was good also. So I, I think the standouts in those in that set, aside from just the break by speed of sound, which I'm not worried about, uh, I just said to Lauren, we'll keep painting those splints real good for now. And... Uh, Probably in the next three, four weeks, we'll get Mike to come in with some with some uh, <laughs> nitrogen. So when I say cryo, a splint or cryo a curb, what they do is they uh, it's a cylinder, uh, a cylinder full of nitrogen. They screw the top on and it and it, it uh, cools the head, this this metal head, and either it's various types and sizes, but most of them are uh, not even half the size of a dime. I'd say, and they hold it on that area and it creates a little scar in there and, and that's how cryoing actually works. So we'll get Mike to come in and, and cryo uh, a number of splints and curbs and whatnot. That'll be a, a rain day in the next few weeks, I would imagine, but not right now. For now, um, Speedy gets her uh, splints painted. For now, Manhattan Money was good. Priest was just a little ignorant today, but we'll fix that. He's a great guy, was very, very good. Uh, Baby Zet did all she could. I wasn't disappointed with her, and I'm ready too. Was good. Now we went out we seven sets today. We went out with set three. Um, Grand Slam Dio made a break. I can tell you why. Uh, Grand Slam Dio looks. Uh, she had an OCD removed before we bought her. I think left front and left front, uh, left front and left hind. The one left hind is in a place where it'll bother her a little bit, and even so, once in a while, you'll see it bugging her. It will dissipate with time. But you got to put in the work. And she tried to. She just overtrotted herself down the back stretch. And I didn't let her. But once in a while, you got to let them make a mistake for them to understand how to do it right. And, and she's a very, very smart filly. And down the back stretch, she was getting out of gear, was getting out of gear. And I could have doubled her up. I just kind of left her alone and talked to her. She just rolled off stride for a step. Then I went around again and I sped her up in the same place. She didn't do the same thing. So it's important that they learn for, from from mistakes like that. Uh, Wander Hill was very good today, which is impressive. He run a number of times over the last little while, while training. Uh, Weston Warrior was scratched out of this set. He had a temperature today. He finds a way to get into work, the little bugger. Um, uh, Atronte, Atronte was, was good also. Leggy was very, very strong in Blue Ventura. So four out of the 
four out of the five in there. I was the one that made a mistake. Four out of the five in there went very, very good. And Grand Slam deal was fine. She just rolled off stride. The fourth set was Aunt Lily. Uh, I put her in a tough spot a couple of times, and she was all business. Then down the backstretch, actually moved her three wide and circled the whole field. Put her, put her in neutral down the lane, and everybody kind of just finished up together in this swarm. And it was a very good mile. Freedom Hill looked very, very good today. Jimboree was good. Mountaineer Prince was very good. I believe Amy beat us at the wire where she sits at the bar. Her and I, Freedom Hill was on the inside of me. Uh, everybody was right there together. Even Rosetta was right there together. Everybody. We had six in that set, and I believe they are all swarming at the wire. It was a great finish to that set, and every horse in there was good. Aunt Lily, Freedom Hill, Jimboree, Mountaineer Prince. She sits at the bar, and Rosetta, very, very happy with that set. Went out with the fifth. Captain Incredibly get over on the shaft a little bit. Something bothers him a little bit in that left hind. I think it's just growth. I don't think there's anything serious to worry about. Um, but again, he was okay today. But you could tell him he was he was almost on on he was almost on tilt um, a couple of times. Jason did a great job working with him. I went with country dancing. She was fantastic today. I put her on the front. And she she was very good. Uh, Foxy Seaside. I put her on the front and then ended up third. First over and attacked down the lane and won the set. Foxy Seaside was right beside me with Amy. Now Foxy Seaside's feet, I think, bother her a little bit. This is two or three times on a firm track we've gone with her where she just didn't look as good as she did in the snow. And obviously that is a very, very telling thing, right? I don't see any splints there. There might be a blind splint that's coming or... Um, uh, not too far from popping out, but I think it's her feet. I think her feet bother her a little bit. Down by the seasides, we had two or three of them, and I think they all raced with flip flops on. So um, the ones that we had. So I, I, I would. I'm more suspect with uh, with her feet. Now we can make, do a number of things. We can go to a set of flip flops, which I don't know if I really want to. We can go to a pin bar or a, or a plate. Um, but for right now, just keep an eye on them. I know. Um, I know Callie's doing a great job working on her feet, and I mentioned it a couple of times. I'm sure she'll continue. But these are also days where we can, as I said, it's very important to be able to take a mental note or literally write it down and say, okay, on the day we trained in the snow, she was really good. Then we went to the firmer track or next time. A little bit on the eggshells, more or less. Um, you know, what, what does that mean? You know, question mark. Keep an eye on that. Um, Arrowhead Hanover was in this set, the only trotter in this set. He looked very good also. Um, gorgeous package, finished up good, and Roser and AJ was flying at the wire. This horse is a good-looking horse, and, and and it's funny because we were talking about the dancing Yankees. They're a little quirky, these buggers, but they can dance, and uh, this guy has looked very, very good ever since open house day. Uh, Six set went out. Um, this was a, a powerful crew, and I was surprised, but Cadu beat them. We had uh, Dance in My Socks. Uh, I Don't Play Nice. Memento Mori was in there. Rose Run Alexander was in there. And so was Bluebird Tuxedo Hill. I said to everybody pulling up. I said, it means nothing. But I will tell you. Of all the recent memory January. So January training the babies. So take this with a, a lot of salt. Not a grain of salt. A lot of salt. But if you looked... January over January over January over January for the last four, five, six years, this is the deepest crew we've ever had. I, I can, I actually said there was a horse, and, I, and I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna drop names or anything, but there was a horse I went with today that I thought was literally one of the best trainers I'd, I'd seen in in all my time in January training babies. He looked amazing, and there's a number of horses that are so so good right now. Quite a few of them on display in this set, and they were all good today. Bluebird Tuxedo Hill, Amy was going with, looked amazing. I was surprised. Now, looking at this set, Cadu was on the front getting around the last turn. I believe Amy was in the two-hole. I wheeled, I don't play nice, three wide, around dancing on my socks. It was in the middle. Memento Mori was packed up in behind us. Again, everybody kind of swarmed at the wire, and Cadu beat them. And uh, I, I'm thoroughly floored by how good some of these horses look and I'm a super optimistic person you guys know that I have no qualms about it I tell everybody all the time I get really high on horses really easy because I, I, I tend to look for their finer points right their strengths and I kind of look past their weaknesses and sometimes those weaknesses are the the one thing that actually does hinder them when push comes to shove and they bring out the starting gate in uh, in June and July so um but I was, you know, I had a long conversation with Amy and both Jasons about this. Joey did a great job with Cadu in there. He looked fantastic. This horses look good. I, I, every year I say, geez, we got a good group in Ohio. Geez, we got a good group in Ohio. 
this is the best group we've ever had in Ohio by far. Now, maybe it's a bumper crop in Ohio and Kurt's got a, well, he doesn't train many babies now, but Virgil and a bunch of the guys in Southern Ohio got killers. Uh, I know, I know, uh, there's a couple of horses on the track now that look nice. Um, I, I don't know if it's a bumper crop, but we have a bunch of really, really nice Ohio bread. So it's pretty uplifting. And, and a couple of horses that I was talking about earlier are not Ohio bred. So we get some Memento Mori's, New York, Green Glitter is Pennsylvania. Uh, I could go on and on and on and on and on. Um, maybe I will. Country Dancing. There's Pennsylvania. Arrowhead Hanover, Pennsylvania. Foxy Seaside. Rose Run AJ. Uh, Freedom Hill. Aunt Lily Jeepers. Uh, Jimbery, right? Kentucky. Mountaineer Prince, Michigan. She Sits in the Bar is Pennsylvania. Rosetta is New Jersey. I believe New Jersey and Kentucky, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, for sure, New Jersey and Kentucky. Uh, Leggy looks good. Blue Ventura. Pacing Pennsylvania horse. Atronet, Atronte, whatever, is uh, Kentucky. Grand Slam Deal is uh, New Jersey. Westland Warrior, Pennsylvania. Speed of Sound, New Jersey. The Priest, Indiana. I'm jumping over a ton of really nice horses. Melisandre is Kentucky, but you get the you get the drift. We get some some pretty talented horses right now, anyway, at the stable. And then we went out in the seventh set, uh, and dancing by myself just looked amazing today for a horse to. He they have to work through it. Like I worked them hard, but that has to be reciprocated, right? You can't just go work them, work them, work them, work them, and then oh my god, they're perfect. They have to want it also. And uh, dancing by myself did a lot of work last week, and he looked amazing today on the track. Green glitter Amy went with was good again. Uh, Fire and Shine was good. Southland Idex finished up right behind me. He looked good. High High Hopes made a break starting into the back stretch. Jason said right line. Now Joey went with the other day said left line. Remember what I said. Hard track. So if you're in the snow and you're on the left line a little bit running away from the Murphy and head pole, we remove the Murphy blind. Now you go onto a firm track and you're on the right line a little bit. Might be your knees bothering her a little bit. Maybe she's got a splint coming somewhere. Maybe she's got a curb coming. Nothing was visible to me today from her but we'll see even more of that tomorrow so it gives us an opportunity to take a couple of mental notes and I have taken some right high high hopes was on a little bit of a line uh, dancing in my socks says not one but two curbs they have to be taken care of he went out and did his work today still with those foxy seaside I want to see how she looked or looks tomorrow Aunt Lily how does she look she looked great today um uh, Grand Slam Deal. How does she look tomorrow? Also, Speed of Sound. How does she look? The Priest. Is he going to do his work proper tomorrow? And how does Never Lose Felix look tomorrow? So, some horses where they did transition onto that firm track and they changed. So, do they change back? So that's even more telling. But if not, uh, where do we go from here with them? Just keep an eye on that. Understand what the what the weaknesses are and the strengths are and, and try to allow their strengths to grow and work hard on their weaknesses. And that's what polishing them up is all about so with that a, a tremendous day on the track really really excited about what's going on uh tonight on the racetrack we get to see what was going on today but we have spitfire overseas who's racing right now should be going behind the gate right now we have renegade gypsy kings county good as him locatelli white tiger good luck to everybody i'm gonna watch my boy race right now take care